Hey guys, welcome back to the Caliber 8 Tools channel and today we're going to talk about how to nail into hard surfaces like concrete or steel. But you can't do that unless you're talking about this specific tool right here. It's called a ram set gun or a hilti gun. So stay tuned and we'll get into what this is right after this. <laughs> Okay guys, this is a ram set, or in this case, a Hilti gun. But the technical name for it is called a powder actuated tool. And they operate similar to how an actual gun operates, and that's with the use of a firing pin that strikes and ignites an explosive powder in a cartridge like this. Okay, see those cartridges right there? And that explosive force is enough to drive a projectile like a specialized nail made specifically for these tools into very hard surfaces like concrete or steel. Now they have about three or four companies that manufacture Ramset guns. And Ramset is actually the name of one of the companies that does this. And they provide these cartridges right here. And as you can see, they're color coded. And the color coding represents the different levels of explosive force in the cartridges, depending on what application you wanna use it for. So if you're going into softer material, you may wanna use the lowest level of explosive force or power, and that's represented by this green strip of cartridges right here. The next one up in terms of power is the yellow cartridge and the most powerful force or caliber would be the red strip here. And if you look on the boxes that they come in, you can see that the red is number five in terms of power. That's the most power that you'll get. Uh, the yellow is number four and the green is number three. Now, ram set guns or powder actuated tools come in two varieties, okay? They can either be high velocity or low velocity. Now, according to the research, high velocity tools are not sold in the US, but low velocity tools are, and that's what this is, okay? And the way you can tell that it's a low velocity tool is that the explosive force acts on a piston, which in turn acts on your projectile, which would be one of these right here, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, if you pull this out, you can see in there, I don't know if you guys can see that, if you see a metal shaft in there that ends right about here, that's the piston that the explosive force acts on, and that piston hits the uh, nail and drives it into your surface, okay? So that's a piston uh, inside this right here. That's what makes it low velocity. High velocity tools don't have pistons. The explosive force acts directly on the nail, okay? And it pushes it in, all right? Now you can't just use any nail from anywhere and load it in this machine. You have to use specialized fasteners. And that's what these are right here, okay? They're made of heat treated steel. The reason they're heat treated is because they're gonna be exposed to vast amounts of heat when being driven into concrete and also from the nail gun itself. Right? So they have to be specialized. If it was a regular nail, then you know that nail can bend or melt uh, based on the force that's being applied to it with this gun. So you have to use specific specialized nails for this tool here. Now these fasteners come in about three sizes. You have the one and a half inch, you have the two and a half inch, and you have the three inch here. Okay guys, so how do you load your ramp set gun? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna start off with the lowest level of explosive force in your cartridge, and that would be green. Why is that? Because depending on how soft your material is, you can work your way up to the most powerful. Because if you start off with this one, it may be too powerful, and you may end up cracking your concrete and shifting your uh, wood or steel or whatever, and you don't want that, right? So let's take our green cartridge, and if you notice, it has an arrow on this tip right here, in this end, okay? And that's the end of the cartridge that you're gonna place into the machine first. So let's take our machine, and if you notice on the bottom here of this handle, you have this opening here. And you just take your cartridge and you stick it in this long area here, right here on the bottom, like that. And you just push it in. Okay? Once you hear it click, you're good. Okay, before we load our fastener into our ramp set gun, let's talk about some essential points that you have to keep in mind, okay? Number one, when you fasten into your concrete, you wanna make sure that the fastener is not closer than three inches from the edge of the concrete, okay? So I have a makeshift uh, concrete 
plus wood prop here. So let's take our measuring tape. Grab our pencil and mark off three inches right here. And let's go ahead and mark another three inches and another three inches and another three inches. Now I place the marks three inches apart because three inches is the minimum distance that two fasteners can be spaced apart from each other. Because if they're spaced too close, the concrete may crack and that can cause a ricochet effect. And the, you know, that's some serious injury or possibly death if that happens. And it's the same with placing the mark three inches away from the edge of the concrete because if the concrete is too weak and the concrete cracks, the fastener can ricochet and cause serious injury or death as well. So you wanna be very careful because this is a very dangerous tool and you have to take the utmost precaution when you do it. Okay, the last thing we wanna take into consideration is the thickness of the concrete that we're gonna be fastening into. Okay, now the rule is that the concrete has to be at least three times as thick as the penetration of the fastener, right? So let's take a measurement of our concrete here. Okay, so our concrete is about five and a half inches thick, right? And if we take our fastener, we're gonna use a two and a half inch fastener and we put it up against our wood and we measure from the top edge of the concrete down to where the fastener ends, that's about an inch. So there's more than enough thickness in the concrete to put our fastener into. Okay, so it's time to load our fastener into our ramp set gun. If you notice on the fastener, it has this orange piece. It's a rubber piece, and it actually helps to grip the fastener into the nozzle here. So let's put that in this way. Don't forget your safety equipment, your gloves, your eyewear, and even your earplugs. Place your fastener on the mark. Press down and yell fire. As you can see guys, that fastener is in there. Even if we brought our concrete slab down to four inches, we still have enough thickness for our two and a half inch fastener to penetrate. For the next round, simply cock back, load the fastener, and you're ready to go. Okay guys, notice the difference between the green strip of cartridges and the yellow strip of cartridges. The green is the least amount of power and the yellow is more power. Look at the yellow. The green was best for this particular application. Now, if you're fastening into steel, you wanna make sure that you're not within a half an inch from the edge of the steel before you start fastening. Also, you wanna make sure that you're at minimum one inch between fasteners. You also want to make sure that the shank of your fastener is thinner than the steel that you're fastening into.
just to show you guys these fasteners can go through steel. Now notice how the fastener seems welded into the steel. It's like they became one. That's because the force of the ramset gun was so powerful that the heat produced welded both metals together. I cannot stress enough how dangerous this tool is. Make sure you wear your safety equipment. Please protect yourself at all costs. All right? Okay, guys, if you like what you saw today and you learned something about ram set guns, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment, share it, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.